This week we're going to turn a fluorescent light box into an LED one. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove all, remove all the fluorescent parts. So I thought I was going to be able to salvage some of these parts like the um, switch and things like that, but I actually didn't. I just removed everything. So I, I used a basic wire cutter and then a screwdriver and then just took my time. I didn't want to mess up the case or anything. So I just took my time and removed it slowly. Here I'm going to use a 12 volt LED strip and this is a basic one. I'm going to put a link to where you can get one on Amazon, but you can find them readily on eBay too. Another thing you should do is line the bottom with foil tape. Foil tape you can get at your, at your hardware store and it does two things. It makes the light a little bit brighter and it diffuses it too, so definitely don't skip this step. The LED strip here is weatherproofed and it has a backing on the, the back that makes it sticky. And to um, adjust the size, you just cut on these copper points right here. And these copper points are actually where you can solder too. So be sure to know that you're cutting on the right place. And the trick I found with um, peeling this back is making a lot of small cuts on this. You don't want to make one big cut. And then just edging into it with your knife. Um, here I'm using a hobby knife. And I'm just being really careful. It's going to take a couple of tries, but you'll get it. And I eventually got really fast at it. so. Um, just sliding your knife underneath that um, housing. After I peeled back the housing, the next thing I did was to pre-tin. So I actually added my wire and soldered outside of the case as much as I could. This made it easier to set up the to set it up and it also made it easier just to handle. So inside the case you don't have a lot of room and you're gonna bang against the walls. If you do it beforehand, you're gonna have a lot less soldering to do and it's way easier outside. So um, basic, using basic hobby hands, holding it up and soldering the wire to it. Um, I use pretty thin wire and I just put the tape, I just put the LED strip as close as I could to the front of the box. Here's the finished product. So um, looks pretty good. There's no switch or anything. So it turns on and off. Basically when I plug in the 12 volt power supply. And that's it. It's a pretty simple build and it makes this light box way more useful and way more friendly. Thank you. Bye.